So the first thing we need to do is to export the audio separate from the video. And to do this, I'm going to come over to File, click on Export Media, and I'm going to give this file a name. I'll call it Audio Export. Now the next thing you're going to do is to deselect video over here, and you're going to change the format from H.264 to MP3, and come over here and hit Export. Now we'll use this audio file shortly. But the first thing we need to do back here in Premiere Pro now is to create a new adjustment layer. So you come over to this new item icon over here, select it, and select adjustment layer, hit OK. Drag this adjustment layer onto your timeline and scale it to the duration of your video file over here. Now right click your adjustment layer over here and click replace with Adobe After Effects composition. And this will automatically launch Adobe After Effects with a prompt asking you to choose the file name and the file path. So I'm just going to call this Wave Spectrum and hit save. Next thing you need to do is to import your audio into After Effects. So you hit Ctrl plus I to import your audio. Select your audio file and hit import. Now I'm going to drag my audio file onto my timeline over here. And now I'm going to select my adjustment layer over here and delete it. The next thing I need to do is to create a new solid. So you come over to layer here. Select new and select solid. The color doesn't really matter, so I'll hit OK. Now I'm going to select my solid over here and move over to my effects and preset over here and search for audio spectrum. Now I'll drag my audio spectrum onto my solid over here. And as you can see, an audio spectrum has been created over here. Now you come over here and rename your solid to audio spectrum or you rename it to whatever you like. I'll save this as audio spectrum too. Now over here in the first control, I'm going to select the audio layer that I want the audio spectrum to react to, and that will be my audio export MP3 file over here. And if we quickly scroll over here, you can see now that my audio spectrum is responding to my audio file. Now I'll move over to my first control panel over here, and I'll set my start frequency to 1000, and set my end frequency to 8500. I'll set my frequency bands to 128. I'll set my maximum height to 5000. And set my audio duration to 100. And I'll bring down my thickness to 2. And I'll change the inside and outside color to white. You can leave it at any color you prefer. And if I go ahead and scroll past here now, you'll see our audio spectrum reactive to our MP3 file over here. Now with your audio spectrum created over here, you can go back to Premiere Pro. And you'll find your audio spectrum over here in Premiere Pro. So all you need to do is to select this wave spectrum and move over to your effects control panel over here in Premiere Pro. Select it once more and you can adjust the position and the scale. And now if I hit play, you can see our audio spectrum over here. Another thing you can do is to add a drop shadow effect to your audio spectrum. So you come over to your effects over here and you search for drop shadow. And you drop your drop shadow onto your audio spectrum over here. Now you come over to your settings under your drop shadow and begin to manipulate to fit what you are trying to create. And that's it guys on how to create the audio spectrum effect in Premiere Pro. I hope you found this tutorial very useful. If you did, kindly give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and drop your feedbacks in the comment section. Thank you and see you guys in my next video tomorrow.